and welcome to Loving the Homestead. This is our farm update part two, and here's one of the most important parts of our farm update. Olaf, come. Come here, buddy. This is Olaf. So this is our great Pyrenees livestock guardian dog. We got him at about five months old. That was a couple of months ago. He is half Anatolian, half Great Pyrenees, and the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest thing. Um, we just, oh, we love him. Hey, buddy, you want to come check on the chickens? So we um, built this fenced-in kind of pasture area. This is new. So we built this in order to get this dog, plus we have another Great Pyrenees that's a rescue that's around here somewhere that'll probably come running up. And the intention was that they would both stay in this pen, because here's our chickens. So they are behind the electric poultry net. This is two strands of electric poultry net from Premier One. We have, oh, I don't know how many birds are in there, 15 maybe? And that is our chick saw, which is our mobile chicken coop. We got those plans from Abundant Permaculture from Justin Rhodes. Um, so the plan was that the dogs would stay in this fenced area um, and kind of bond with and get to know the chickens. And then as we test them and as they get a little bit older, the dogs do, then we would allow them, the birds, to free range again on the full property. However, our older Great Pyrenees um, is an escape artist. And so this is just goat panel with T-post fence, and we have put up to three strands of hot wire at different lengths, and he just clears it. So we can't keep him in here, which is kind of a big dilemma, but we have not lost any birds um, since we got the dogs. And I don't know if y'all were following us earlier, but we were losing, um, we saw a coyote run off with a full grown hen. We had um, turkey vultures in our, in our chicken pen all the time. We had hawks circling. We're still not really sure, except for the coyote, because we saw that one, what was getting our chickens, but we lost a couple of chicks, and we lost a duckling, and a gosling, and a couple of full-grown hens. And we haven't lost anything till we, since we got those crazy geese over there. We'll go in and see them. And since we got the dogs. So, um, that's awesome, because like I said, we were losing things really rapidly for a while, but now we need to figure out how to keep the dogs in the pen because we don't have a property perimeter fence and we don't think our neighbors really want our 120 pound dogs um, hanging out with them. So these are some geese that we got. They're not technically livestock guardian geese. There's two of them. Whoa. Ah, Y'all are crazy. You're so loud. So those are our geese. There's two of them. They came as a pair, long story. And then, like I said, this is our chick saw, and uh, one of the most exciting things happening, let's see if she's still in here, is we have a broody hen in here. Oh, sorry, y'all probably couldn't see anything. We have a broody hen in here that's been in here, yeah? There she is. So, get down. So, this little silky who's fussing at me has, hey, get down, get down, crazy, get down. This little silky in there who's fussing at me has been sitting on these eggs for, um, we were out of town. And um, when we left, she was sitting in the nesting box and we thought, oh gosh, let's see what happens. And when we got back, she was still in there. And the guy that was taking care of our chicken says he ha she hasn't gotten out. So she's been sitting on those eggs about, I don't know, eight or nine days now. So in just a little while, my husband's gonna move her over into her own little mama brooder area. And um, that'll be our first time to have one of our hens hatch their own chicks. So that's exciting. And then let's see, so I don't know if you remember the chicks that we had, so they are all grown up. They are almost six months old. One or two of them has started laying the fun, tiny, tiny little eggs. Um, and then we have our silky rooster man over there who's just kind of fun and a little bit crazy. And that's it. That is the biggest updates um, for Loving the Homestead. We're super excited we got the dogs. Now we just need to work with them a little bit more. Um, so if you are a livestock guardian dog expert or you have some tips for us, please leave them in the comments because we honestly haven't spent a lot of time working with them yet and we know we need to do that. Um, so yeah, so thanks for listening to the update. We'll try to get back on track with posting our videos. We'll maybe try to um, vlog the the little mama silky hatching some some babies and that'll be exciting for us and farm girl one and farm girl two out here so thanks for following loving the homestead we love your comments and your encouragement we are still learning a lot so we would love to hear from you bye